You need to know your woodland. You need to know where the deer are likely to be. You know, you have that, oh, it's, it's an anxious sense. Each step that you take opens up a different viewpoint. You need to be as quiet as you can be. challenge. Yeah, There's a combination of things really. I mean, your field craft skills are, are put to test. You're looking for deer, stalking around the woodlands, um, you know, listening, watching, hearing. It really gives me a sense of, of nature. In some areas of the country, uh, deer numbers are particularly high. It wouldn't be uncommon to see herds of 100 to 200 fallow in one particular field, for example. And they're doing a considerable amount of damage to woodland and farm crops. Deer have no natural predators and Deer stalkers have to actively manage deer numbers um, for the habitat they live in. I love being out in the woodlands, um, you know, and certainly early in the morning there's no better place for me. To see that wood come alive uh, in the morning is, is something special. We like to be getting in the high seat really um, while it's still quite dark um, so we can let we can let the surroundings settle down we can get set up in in the seat uh, and really you know we're just waiting for something to come to us it's all right no panic they've just crossed the ride way down well a high seat really is is an elevated seat, it could be like a tree house. Um, there is many different types. A lot of stalkers actually make their own. You're able to sit very quietly. It's, it's a, a great way of being able to observe and select the animal that you want to shoot. The high seats are great in terms of uh, safety as well. When you take that shot, uh, the, the line of the bullet, the angle of the bullet, is going through and down into the ground behind the animal, um, which is obviously incredibly safe. You never know what you're going to see. You know, just sat watching and listening. We might see foxes, badgers, um, you know, birds of prey floating over the trees above, you know, and to hear them is, is incredible. Yeah, that way. It's eating at the minute. Oh! 
with chest shot animals, um, heart, lung shot, that animal may uh, run. Adrenaline will be enough to take it 10, 20 yards and um, possibly into thick cover. Sometimes it can be really hard to just just pinpoint exactly where the, where the animal has fallen over. You know, and in that situation, the deer dog comes into its own. And we can put the dog onto the exact point of shot, you know, where, where that animal was stood. And it will track off into the, into the cover and find it for you. Find that deer. The animal will leave a blood trail, um, which is what the dog will follow. There's a set process that we need to go through. You know, we, we have to check the animal, check the animal's condition uh, initially, check for any notifiable diseases. And we, we, we take the stomach out of the animal in the field as soon as we can. Uh, this prevents any contamination uh, into the carcass, into the meat. The animal will then be taken um, from the woodland into the chiller. Um, and in order to, to provide the best quality venison, um, we do that process as, as quick as possible. For anyone who wants to get into deer stalking, or for anyone who wants to learn a bit more about it, um, they should really give BASC Deer Department a call.